Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Storytime, the, seg uh, the segment of my channel where I, ex uh, I tell stories of spiritual or paranormal things that happened to me in uh, hopes of not only uh, telling a nice, interesting story, but also to maybe inspire you in case you are dealing with a spiritual problem or your own and how maybe how I dealt with it will help you deal with it. So, let us begin. In our last video, our last spiritual story time, I told you on how I worked at Admiral Tool and Manufacturing Co., which is in Livonia, Michigan. And uh, I no longer work there, so... Uh, I experienced tons of uh, spooky things that happened there, uh, different ghost experiences. If you ha guys haven't seen that uh, episode yet, go see it. But I explained in that video that I'd be telling you about a dream that I had a few weeks after uh, gaining employment there that may have had something to do with the haunting. So here we go. So I... I uh, just got home. I worked the night shift. It was um, 4.30 to 3 a.m. So I was definitely working a late shift, 10 hours. I went to bed. Nothing was out of the ordinary. Then I had a dream that I was driving to the spot, but it wasn't where Admiral Tool was. It was on the corner. There were no factories. I saw no factories whatsoever. There was a house. It was a nice house, too. One story. I think it was like a ranch house, but it was a very nice, stylish house. Inside, it looked like there was a party going on. There was a spread of food, a punch bowl. There were um, decorative lights hanging from the ceiling. And there were a group of people standing around this circular table with a nice, uh, I believe it was a red tablecloth on it. They were all talking, having a good time, when then all of them take a seat around the table and start having a seance. And I'm like, I can't even speak. And it, this isn't a dream that I can control, so I'm just standing there watching them. They're trying to contact some, the lights start flickering. And, um, I didn't see anything. I didn't see if they summoned anything. Because not too long after that, one of the girls that was at the party, she's escorting me to my car. Somehow my car has been parked in the parking lot outside. <clears throat> and it's weird. It's not a driveway. It's a parking lot. It's got the yellow parking space markers. I'm in that. And she opens my car door for me. I don't even have my keys. So she can open my car door. It's already unlocked somehow. And she's just like, here you go. And I'm just like, okay, goodbye. And then she issues for me to roll down my window. So I do. And she's like, she leans over real close to my face and says, watch out for spiritual traps and just smiles at me like creepy she's like and I'm like okay and then all of a sudden my car moves without me <laughs> tapping on the pedal and I'm on my way home and that's when I wake up so I don't know if it had something to do with the dark spirit that was there if it was trying to tell me about why it was there or maybe <clears throat> the older man spirit who was trying to tell me what happened on that spot years ago I I don't know but it's weird you think if the lot was haunted it would have something to do with you know the factory where it was but no this was located on the corner on one of the factories because this was an industrial drive there were factories pretty much on the whole right side of the road and on the other side there's residential neighborhood so I don't know why 
something really wanted me to go to the Livonia uh, courthouse and see if I could get access to the records. But I think you have to have, like, your ID or something, or... I'm not sure. I didn't end up doing that, because uh, even if I was able to confirm that there was a house, I would not be able to confirm that there was a seance there. Um, but for a long time, I know, since, like, way back, there's always been businesses on that spot. I don't think there's ever been houses on that side of the road. I don't know, though. It's possible that, you know, some, some time ago, maybe during... I don't know, the early 1900s, possibly late 1800s. I don't know if there could have been a house, but this was a modern house. It didn't look old at all. It looked pretty new, pretty modern. And the fact that there were lights, and everyone was wearing modern clothing. I want to say, if anything, they were at least wearing 80s style clothing. I want to say, but it was pretty freaking modern. I saw jeans, I saw button-down uh, shirts, it could have been even possibly 70s. And um, no one seemed to be wearing their hair in any particular outrageous style, you know. The girl who escorted me to her, my car, she was a redhead, and she, you know, was just wearing her hair down. Uh, I know she had jeans, and uh, she was wearing uh, leather boots. So, um, and she was wearing a button-down striped shirt, blue. So she wasn't really wearing anything that could distinguish, you know, a singular era. I, I would not be able to pinpoint what era they were from. But if they had lights, obviously it was some time when lights were available, which has been a long time. So, it's not like I could pinpoint that. And parties have been around forever. Seances have been around forever. So, I I don't really know. Electricity has been around since, like, what, the 1800s? Uh, mid to late 1800s. So, uh, this was, de they were definitely not wearing 1800s style clothing. I know that. So, it had to be somewhere in the 20th century. That's all I know. And uh, there was nothing really else that I can pinpoint. The house, it was a ranch house, definitely. The house was a, a modern style. So it's, it was definitely um, a regular small ranch house. Uh, pretty small, actually. Um, and the living room they were in... It was like, there was the table, there was the spread of food, it looked like there were a couple couches, so pretty decent size. I didn't get to see the rest of the house, but it was pretty, pretty small place, um, but it was pretty modern when it comes to, you know, certain houses. So, I don't know. Uh, guys, let me know what you think uh, down in the comments section, because I... I was, I'm pretty good at dream interpretation. In fact, I did a video on dream interpretation, so be sure to check that out. But, you know, pr I'm usually pretty good at that. But this, I have no idea. I mean, the house, the seance, the woman walking me to my car and saying, watch out for spiritual traps. I don't know what that means. I tried to, you know, go online uh, in a Facebook group, you know, that was full of witches and practitioners. I'm like, hey, what could this mean? And everyone had their own opinions. I just, I don't know. But that was the uh, dream I had a few weeks after getting a job there. And I have no idea if it had something to do with the spirits that were there, if they were trying to tell me a story because I was more open to the spiritual. I don't know. But that's pretty much the whole story. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or ideas for future videos, put it down in the comments section. Also, your take on what the dream could mean. And uh, 
Share this with as many people as you can. I'm trying to get this information to reach as many people as I can. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day and night.